Now 607 here on your Tuesday morning. We've been saying this all morning. You know, Alex, we always talk about it. We joke about it, how it's very cold, yeah. but this is the cold that can be very dangerous. So you need to make mm -hmm. a plan for sure. Yeah, this is the kind of cold you need to actually prepare for, not just, you know, Hey, it's going to be chilly. I'll throw on a jacket, especially mm -hmm. as we go into Christmas and then people are going to be traveling, you know, tens of yes. miles to different spots. What happens? You run out of gas, your battery dies, you need to be prepared to potentially spend some time in the cold if that happens. And as Caitlin and Wanya were saying, this isn't just any cold. This is going to be the coldest air we've seen in nearly five years. This is downtown this morning. 45 the current number showers in a few spots, but not here in Macon. That's mainly down to the south this morning. We'll check out the radar in just a second. 44 in Byron, 45 in Warner Robins, 45 in Dublin and 40 to get your morning started in Washington County, 43 out in Vidalia, 41 in Unadilla and 42 down in Sumter County. More 40s towards the north this morning. You got to go up into Tennessee and North Carolina to find any 30s. It looks like 36 is the cool spot on the map up in Greenville. Now, as I was saying, a few showers down to the south this morning, also some up towards the north. We saw the airport a few minutes ago. We saw some raindrops on the camera there, but for the most part, dry across central Georgia right now. That's going to change as we head through the day, though, as another wave of rain works its way in from the west. So here we are at the noon hour. Upson County, Taylor County starting to get in on the shower action that will expand across central Georgia as we roll through the afternoon. This is 5 p.m. looking at temperatures in the 40s, maybe even 30s in a few spots, but we are all going to be well above freezing as we head through the day today. So not concerned about any wintry weather as we head through the overnight hours. A few peaks of clear skies, but mostly cloudy in other spots across central Georgia and then into the 50s tomorrow afternoon. And this is going to be some of the warmest air we will see for quite a while tomorrow afternoon with the sunshine around. Once we get into Thursday, here we go back into the 40s overcast skies and a few showers. By the time we get into Thursday afternoon, those will probably become a little more numerous. Now, Thursday afternoon is going to be a big transitional time for us. So here we are at 5 p.m. Notice a wave of rain building in. This is the European model, and I think it's got the best handle on what's going to happen not only on Thursday, but through the weekend here. So mixed precipitation back into Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee. Could we get clipped by this for approximately two and a half seconds? Yes. Am I concerned about any impacts? Not at all. This thing is going to be flying through central Georgia. And once it gets out of here, we're going to stay dry. This is Christmas Day at 5 p.m. Staying dry all the way through Christmas. But this cold front is going to mean business across central Georgia and across the southeast. So here we are Thursday at 7 p.m. Remember, it's raining out in Alabama, parts of Georgia at this time. 24 in Memphis, 45 in Birmingham, hanging on to 49 here in Macon. Watch this cold front continue to move through and it's going to just plow through the southeast. Zero, the actual temperature in Memphis, feeling like negative 14. 26 in Birmingham, still hanging on to 45 here. This is 3 a.m. It looks like the front's going to arrive right around 5, 6 in the morning. 20 degrees by Friday at noon here in Macon. Feels like 9 degrees. If you're headed anywhere north, say Tennessee, Arkansas, Kentucky, it is actually going to be below zero. The actual air temperature is going to be below zero, and we're not going to stop there. Down to 16 Christmas Eve morning. Feels like 3 here in Macon, negative 4 in Atlanta. Feels like negative 3 up in Memphis. So, yes, the low max temperatures, that record is going to be in jeopardy. All of that to say the coldest we get for high temperature. That's the record there. So the, for Christmas Eve, it's at 35, forecasting a high temperature of 32 on Christmas Eve. As for today, 45 on and off rain that will become steadier this afternoon, 37 later on tonight. And here is your Christmas forecast. A high temperature of 32 on Christmas Eve after starting off at 14, a high of 37 on Christmas Day after starting at 19. And then on Monday, how about we warm up to a balmy 42 degrees?